Now, here's a, another round of, I don't know what round of it. Oh, wait, anyways, on the top right, we got Tesla as Teal Cyclops, and as on the bottom, we got Dragon Zed as the yellow Last Bastion. Um, so on this map, Last Patch is a very interesting choice. I expect more Ego factions on this map, but um, but to be fair, Russia and Latin Confederation have been banned. So yeah, uh, still though, it is a very interesting pick. So we got um, you know the usual early game stuff. You got Lancer scouting. You got spooks running around the map both players seem to have gotten their oil so they both know this map oh i'm not so sure about tesla's bill he should be crawling towards the ore patches or the gems one of the two i'm not so sure about that power placement but we'll see so tesla is about to get a scout off uh dragon sets base uh no well not a really good scout not a good scout but So Tesla is going to attempt to steal Dragon Zed's uh, oils. See if he spots it. He seems to have spotted it. Nope. No, he doesn't spot it. Alright, I'm going to have to check my FPS in case if I start lagging for whatever reason. Then I just got to turn off the stream. I don't know why it's not a smooth 60 fps i think i think it's not looking good for me oh oh tesla is going to straight up move his m is he is he moving to expand or is he just rushing with it we'll see so um, so expanding with his mcv i mean I don't know. I definitely think you could just could have just base walked up there, but uh, so I think the MCV move is a little slower. Yeah, yeah, Tesla. Yeah, I should read the chat. Yeah, terrible MCV move. I agree. Tesla giving us content. That is funny. Dragon Z gonna do. like uh dragon z's gonna poke not so sure he's gonna get this oh he actually gets this no oh no he doesn't oh okay, well yeah no i think i think i agree with that he's gonna have to lose all his knife prints and he just stood there okay but he does get it after repositioning it that is nice yeah teslo um so refinery placement's a little bit uh it was a little bit whack but Tesla's gonna respond with a bunch of stingers. Uh, he's gonna definitely clean up all those knife frames there. He's got one half health Gatling tank. That's definitely not enough to fight off three thunders. Yeah, Dragon Zed pulling moves. He's making plays right here. I I, I would have thought Tesla was the favorite to win, but Tesla it's, uh, it's at a it's kind of falling behind a little bit. See if he can recover. It's not too much damage though, to be fair. He's only lost a refinery and it's been a bit slow with this build. But other than that, we'll see if Dragon as long as Dragon keeps up on the back end, uh he should be he can win this. 
Oh, but he, he throws away those conjures, unfortunately, trying to get a power plant. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's not the play there. So now, um, I mean, those knife frames is impressive that they did half the health of the MCB, but they were never realistically going to get it. So, after the dust settles, I think Tesla just has more things on the field. Dragon's floating 10k, he should be pumping out of the barracks, he does start pumping out infantry now. Uh, Dragon's Den has a little bit, not as many miners as I'd like to see, he should have like around um, 5 more, he'd be golden, but... So, he only has like 8 for a bow and that's a little bit less, now he has nothing um, supporting the Condors to cover for these Gatling tanks, these Gatling tanks kind of have free reign all over the base. Uh, Dragon Zed's trying to put grids down, but Tesla has stealth detection, so he can avoid them somewhat. Oh, but he gets caught on a bunch of grids? I mean, the Gatling tanks, uh, they, they, they kill the grids. Wait, he sells the MCV? Wait, what? Wait, why? It wasn't gonna die. Like, it can... I'm so confused. Oh yeah, and on the back of that, Tesla has like, you know, like, probably like eight miners or something. So like, same number as uh, Dragon's Head, actually. So Tesla, but uh, Tesla has like, normal miners, so he definitely has a better economy. Although, although both are, like, floating a lot of money, but that's more because Dragon's Head's not spending as well. Yeah, Dragon has panicked. Yeah, he's he's definitely panicked. That that MCB cell is just nonsensical. It's nonsensical MCB cell. I don't know why he did that. Wasn't gonna die. Reminder to change the default cell repair hockey. I I mean I have mine on the default ones. I'm like, you know what? That's probably a good idea. Should do that sometime, but it's gonna take getting used to. Or you know, you can just not use a hockey for that. But actually, I but you should probably use hockeys for that. Anyways. Yeah, but that is definitely GG. Tesla just takes it. Dragon had a good showing in the beginning. Tesla was kind of trolling a little bit, but. All right, so on the bottom right, sorry, bottom left, we got Dragon's Head as the yellow Psycorps. And on the top right, we got Teslo as the teal Latin Confederation. Mm. So I'd expect both players to start opening up with dogs and engineers, make a grab for the numerous oil derricks and the tech expansion on this map. You see there are like four oil derricks in the mid I think it's uh, pretty crucial that you grab these oil derricks as soon as possible and hold on to them. That's where Tesla will have an advantage playing Latin Confederation with their better early game. But Psycorps, they have the Marauders, which could be very good on this map because of the water and the expansions in the corners. Allows you to guess, kind of control and defend them better if your units are amphibious. So Tesla puts the refinery on the off the back of the tech expansion. That is the correct way to play this, I, if I, in my opinion. Dragon Zed um, puts his refinery as base, which is uh, less not as good as this. This you start getting the gems much earlier. Um, although it this build is would be all right if uh, Dragon Zed could grab the oil derricks, which interestingly enough, neither player has tried to attempt to grab them. I think Tesla's gonna make a move for them soon. So, but it's interesting to see not a single one of these middle oils have been captured. All right, so Tesla's gonna make a move, kind of like queued up 20 conscripts, and then, or 10 conscripts, and then move them all at once. That is uh, all right, uh, although a little bit slow. He's got a terror drone now. Uh, maybe he can drone this miner if he's lucky. It's a window of opportunity right now. 
Oh no, he just missed it. I don't think he's gonna get an opportunity here. It just float. Ooh, the Terra Drill survives. Can he get the Miner in the base though? That would be it. Oh, gets cleaned up by the Punker. Alright, so Tesla places War Factory there. That makes sense. You can start building Miners right here. It does block a little bit of the pathing, but that should be fine. Builds a refinery in his own base. Let's see. Both players having identical builds, like in terms of what they build, like their buildings. Spell fight in the center. Tesla is probably gonna win this one. Yeah, conscripts overpowered. Tesla goes for three uh, Tesla reactors. He's probably teching. Yeah, he's teching up. Dragon says he's got his Pandora hub out. He's gonna build his extra power, which he needs to stay. So Tesla builds his refinery. Yeah, Tesla's teching up. This, that's interesting. Wonder what his plan is. I'd expect um, Tesla to be a little bit more aggressive, but. I guess it is a little bit difficult to attack up this high ground. And the fact that this map is initially kind of rich, because even if you don't grab those foil oils in the center, you still have like three in your base. So you do have money and, and gems too. Yeah, Dragon Zed's mined out all his gems, which is good. Likewise with Tesla, he's mined out all his gems too. He's moving them all back to his base. So. Their economy should be about equal right now. Tesla just spending a little bit more money, as you can see, reflected on the number of units on the screen. Tesla has like three times the number of units. Oh, although most of them are conscripts, to be fair, but still. I do think Tesla is spending his money faster. Uh, yeah, I don't know. He should have pulled those initiates back. That's a lot of conscripts. I don't think he's going to hold this. Maybe if he starts crushing the Ghost Miners, but he does have detection. I think this might be the end, actually. It's just gonna do too, way too much damage. He needs to crush the Conscripts. That's honestly his only chance. Not an ideal situation to be in, but if you have to crush those Conscripts with the Marauders, they're gonna kill your MCV. Oof, and it does. It does kill the MCV. Yeah, no, he's not targeting your Marauders. You gotta crush him. Like, I know it's not ideal, but... You need to crush the Conscripts and Marauders in this case, otherwise you're just going to lose everything. Yeah, you kind of just lost everything. Oof. Yeah, I think that's... that's GG. Oh, Tezo still hasn't captured his second... I mean, it doesn't matter. He's already gotten... he got all four in the beginning. But that's pretty funny, though. Uh, the Risen Monolith might snipe out Morales. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, interesting. It expires. Okay, so, I mean, honestly, this game is uh, pretty much over. I don't see how Dragon Zed comes back from this. He lost his radar. Uh, I guess Morales died to a spook. That's an elite spook. Somehow, just, he just was caught asleep on the wheel. Yeah, you can see, he's, I mean, Tezla's a little bit... A oh, sleepy person. You, see, you can see he has like 10 Jaguars in front of his war factory doing nothing. Not rally, not even rally pointed. <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Dragon Zed trying to be a little bit annoying, but ultimately, uh, I think it's all in vain. Yeah, he just can't fight that many Jaguars. Yeah, he's Dragon Zed's gonna try to capture something. I mean, I don't think he's gonna get anything though. Ooh, will he get the MCV? Oh no, he undeploys the MCV. Jaguars, half tracks, overwhelming numbers. 
Tezel has twice as many units. Yeah, GG. Alright, that's game two. Done. Uh, shoot, I forgot to switch the stream layout. My bad. Um... Yeah, I got scenes. Uh, I don't. I don't stream my entire screen. Otherwise, it likes even more. But yeah, I guess I forgot to switch the scene before I started the game. So my apologies for that. Um. Okay. Well, d don't worry. You guys didn't miss anything. Nothing interesting happened. They just grabbed their oil derricks and they start crawling towards the gems. I think Tezzle should have crawled towards this gem patch, though. This is the closer gem patch, for sure. Um, Dragon Zed is making the... So, fuck, wait, uh, sorry, Dragon... Dragon Zed is making the incorrect crawl. crawl. Tezzle has the correct crawl. This is the crawl you want to do to the gems. So you're gonna see, uh, Dragon Zed's economy, like... Well, it would lag behind, but he's not building as many units as Tesla. Tesla has a similar number of units, but he's bowling, so his units are more expensive. Um, so now Tesla's grabbing the oils, as expected. Uh, careful about the engineer. Yeah, kill the dogs first. Yeah. Uh, don't fight the robot tanks on the water. <laughs> the torpedo being useful for once. Yeah, normally I'm pretty sure uh, Jackal would win the 1v1, but he's fighting the robot tanks on water, so the torpedo comes into play, and the robot tanks will win the 1v1. Dragon Zed goes for early tier 2, actually. He can't afford to do so, because Tezel doesn't really have a threat on the battlefield to immediately go kill him, so he can't afford to just not build combat units. And he can grab the oils right now, actually. Tezel's already grabbed... he's grabbed two, so... He moves, makes the move now, grabs the two oils. He'll be on equal footing economy-wise with Tesla. Also, he needs to build his uh he's building a okay, he's building a war factory, but he should place a ref here soon. Um Yeah, he's gonna grab it. He's just busy with uh you know not letting this jackal grab the oil derricks, the robot tank torpedo being mildly useful. I'm not going to say actually useful because it is missing a lot of its shots, but the threat of it makes it so that he can't fight the robot tanks on the water with the jackals. So, yeah. Alright, so fighting in the center. Uh, Aussie? Oh, shoot. There's the Draco drone. Basically counters the entire army because he has no anti-air. That's why Drago tanks. There, I think they. I think Drago tanks actually have probably the best gimmick of all the main battle tanks, simply because if it's just the pure MBT versus MBT fight, then they win by default because of this Drago turret. So uh, Dragon Zed was a little bit slow there. He was sleeping a little bit, paying attention elsewhere on the battlefield. Let's uh, Tesla get the first capture bonus. He needs a. Why is he building another war factor? He's broke. He needs the uh, uh, gems here. He only has three miners too, which is way too little. Don't know why. He should build uh, miners. Uh, Tezel has a decent amount of miners. He's got a spin blade there. Anyway, so I and I I don't know what Drag Drag. I feel like he just forgot about his economy. Now he's paying the price. He's very broke now. Now that he needs to actually build, spam out the units because Tesla's got a threat. Now he immediately goes broke, as you can see. Yeah, he's not building anything either. I mean, not that he has the money to, but he just can't build anything. Now. Yeah, you can only build off one tab. Meanwhile, Tesla's got a war machine going on here. He, he makes a split. I mean, Tesla can do anything. He has like four times the number of units, despite being foe. I mean, twice the number of units, since you can see the unit counter. But 
Still though, but it's full in units though, so might as well effectively be four times the number of units. Yeah, it's, he's still on three miners. Like, you can see the difference. Tezzel's already starting to mine the second ore patch here. He's not even halfway done, and he doesn't have the gems. Yeah. Now he's gonna uh, cause some confusion in the base. Sense of CLI if he's tried to blow up some buildings, but Tezzel's got three groups of armor units here. One in his base, you know, two coming in from both sides of Dragon's Dead Space. I think this is over. Just has... Tesla just, uh... Has way too many units. Dragon's Dead just forgot about his economy, built three miners, and then got distracted by everything else going on the battlefield, forgot or neglected his eco, lost his him in the game. So that's GG. Tesla wins 3-0.